In honor of nearly reaching 20,000 views on my last video I did on Sweden, I thought I'm going to take a few minutes out of this day to just to make a little casual video about the things that really shocked me about Sweden and the things that I didn't know. So to start off, it is that how great everyone's English is. When you walk around the streets, if you need help with anything and you approach someone and you speak in English, they are more than happy to help you and they'll reply to you in English and their pronunciation, vocabulary, and just the way that they structure everything is pretty much perfect. Even some of the words they use, I don't even know that's how high up their, their vocabulary is. Another thing that also really surprised me was the way everyone dresses. In South Africa, I can get away with like throwing some track pants on, some slops, and like a loose fitted shirt, and I can run down to the grocery store and get groceries. But in Sweden, it is completely different. Everyone dresses really nice. You'll see someone that looks like they're about to go out for a formal dinner, but actually they're just going down to the grocery stores to go and get some food and come back and then obviously eat it and make some food. So that was a big thing that shocked me. I was like, that's so different because everyone always looks so smart. And then another thing is how good looking the people are. And this isn't only in the woman aspect who are beautiful, but it's also in the guy aspect. Everyone is really like well groomed, really well presented. They, none of them really look scruffy. I didn't come across anyone that looks scruffy. They all look really, really nice, which is also like, wow, everyone really takes pride in themselves, takes pride in what they look like because they want like their country to get a big positive name. So I thought that was really nice. Another thing is that it's very, very expensive. When we went out to even to a bar to go look for beer, we were gonna go buy pizza, it's quite a lot more expensive. So it's usually around 80 to 90 kronen of beer when you go out, and then the pizza's like 200 plus in the places that we found. And that was just a couple of the things that I found what were quite different from, that like shocked me as soon as I went to, to Sweden and saw everything. And another one that I was told but I didn't even realize, that the social benefits they get regardless of i'm not even going to talk about they get a whole year off for um when after they give birth to be with their child and the bonding phase which is a huge thing but it is the fact that they actually some of them get paid to go to university which is a mind-blowing mind-blowing thing for me that the government actually wants them to further the education so they will get paid to pay their tuition pay or it's free to pay for their housing to pay for their groceries and then they even get extra that they can keep for themselves which is really important i feel in the development of themselves and becoming independent at a younger age and not having to rely constantly on their parents so sweden what you are doing is perfect keep it up i absolutely loved it stockholm is still going to be the most prettiest city i ever visited so if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up go and hit that subscribe button if i hit 500 subscribers i will be going skydiving with my sister in dubai if we get it by december so let's make that happen that will be a really cool vlog and comment down below what you want to see so thank you guys so much for watching